Good day, chaps. So today we're doing AK-47. Well, 7.62 by 39. This is the Hawa mini action, and we're doing Peregrine bullets. These are the custom blackout bullets. Um, if we look at these, this is the type of performance that we expect. Remember, it's all subsonic. Today we're doing subsonic. So the aim is to shoot 1,050 foot. Um, if we look at these bullets, the performance on these bullets, um, this bullet had an impact of somewhere in the region of 1,200 foot uh, as a reference. And these bullets were somewhere in the region of 1,000 and these bullets here were somewhere in the region of 800 foot. So these bullets are extremely efficient in the space of subsonic shooting. Today we are going to experiment a bit with, with uh, the trigger cam, a nifty tool that actually fits on the rear of your scope, doesn't interfere with anything, totally independent unit. So in the box, the unit and the necessary rear fittings. Also comes with a nifty tool and of course the USB charge cable. So fitment is very easy. Out the box um, you've got spacer adapters which basically just slides over the rear of your scope. They come in various thicknesses so it will give you a secure mount. So the tool gives you easy access. And as you can see down there, there's an adjustment to give you focus in the, in, 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 on the camera. Um, from experience, what I've seen is, is that if you set it on maximum magnification, your scope, and if you then focus it, once you start turning the scope up and down magnification, it will remain focused. So, so this is the camera focus. And this board gives you access to the memory card and of course the memory card and of course the charging plug. So start up is fairly easy. Hold the button down two seconds. As you can see it comes on red and it comes on blue. So guys, you just heard the first bullet um, from the AK-47, that's subsonic. And as you can see, we're at 10.76, which is still a little fast. But we've seen from experience that you can shoot it up to about 10.80 or so. Um, remember when you get to somewhere in the region uh, closer to 1,220, that's when you start going through that transonic phase. So we're happy with this at the moment. Let's see how the bullets pattern. So guys, up front at the target, as you can see on that AK, uh, the Hawa Mini Action. One, two, and three. So this is typically what we find um, with the one and nine twist on that caliber. Um, the bullet seems to be um, long, and the long bullets um, it does tend to have a a problem with stabilization. So you would have two bullets that's perfectly um, centered and then you would have a bullet that is clearly unstable. So guys, trigger cam, um, I just absolutely like it. I love it. Um, despite the fact for the obvious, of course, that you can make really, really nifty hunting, hunting experience videos. Um, of course it has other purposes and, and I see it in the space on the range and I see it in the space of training and target practice. Um, remember that it's Wi-Fi enabled, which means that if you on a game ranger, for example, and someone is shooting, 
you can relay that image directly back to a tablet or whatever. And I can just imagine what a pH with first time shooters, just imagine the, the um, advantage there. Or when you're shooting 500 meters or 1,000 meters and your coach is sitting next to you, right, which can in real time on a tablet view exactly what you're doing. But in any event, the point is it's lightweight, it's easy to, it's easy to fit, um, it's simplistic to operate, and obviously um, it runs off a smartphone or a tablet, smart device um, that you can just download the app. So, chaps, see if you can find it. It's out there, it's on the market, Trigger Cam. It's really neat, really nifty. A great tool. Have fun.